Right guys, I'm just about to wash and lube my pellets, so I'm just going to take you through what you need and I'll show you a process I use. So you're going to use a small drainer, you need a hair dryer, jug of warm water, washing up liquid, some kitchen towel, napier pellet lube, and most of all your pellets. I'm just going to take you through the process I go of uh, washing and lubing my pellets. Right, so first of all, let's uh, get the pellets open. You want a couple of drops washing up liquid. Just move that round a bit till it's dissolved. Slide your pellets in and then just gently move your hand around. Just uh, turning them. Right, so once we've uh, given them a swirl round, empty it into um, the drainer. And then if I can try and zoom in, and if you can see right at the bottom, let's see if we can zoom in, you'll see all the lead swarf, what's come off the pellets. Oh, hang on. There you go. You can clearly see that. So then, what we do is run some warm water, just to rinse all the detergent off. And then I just usually leave that to, to drain off for a couple of minutes. So once they've drained for a few minutes, bring them over to the paper towel in. Tip them on the paper towel in. And then wash that off. So then spread them around. Once again, trying to be as gentle as you can, you don't want to damage any of the skirts. Right, then you find that's all flat, and then take a hair dryer to them. You can turn them from time to time, just move them around. So as the hot air gets all in underneath the skirts. Well, I think they're just about done now. So turn that off. And then you just want a few drops. I think that's probably plenty. There are sprays that you can buy and stuff, but this pellet lube always comes recommended. And then just give them a little shake about like this, and that'll move the pellets onto other pellets what got the coated of the lube. It's in. 
and as you can see, and you just fold them over like so, leaving an end clear. And then tip them all back into your tin. And there you go, you'll see some of the lube on there as well. So what I'll do is I'll take that piece out and I'll just keep it on top of the tin just to keep them lubed up. So there you go. That's how I uh, wash and lube my pellets. Just a quick tip. The reason I uh, put the lube on the top, keep the sponge on the bottom of the pellet, on the pellet case, tin sorry now it's uh, not very often that you take a pellet from the bottom of the tin so if you keep your piece of lube tissue at the top all the time every time you take a pellet out you'll know it'll be properly lubed to keep them tight as well just put the uh, Put the tape back round. Sometimes this tape wears after a while, and all I do is use elastic band. There you go. Pellet lube is always on the top then.